Hello everyone, T-Man978, welcome to another chill review. This time it's Marvel Legends series, Korg Build-A-Figure Wave, Thor, Love and Thunder, Mighty Thor. Look at this artwork right here. It looks somewhat realistic, but mostly cartoony. This one as well. I'm shocked because they don't typically do that. On the back it says... Jane Foster's life is forever changed when she mysteriously comes to possess the hammer Mjolnir and the power of the mighty Thor. Here are some other people in the wave that you need to collect to get this guy. Now, I used to be all hardcore about getting Build-A-Figures, but no, I'm not. These things cost too much, and I don't want every character. I got, I got several of these. This guy's face look ugly in person. Her face looks way more square and not as good as the last Valkyrie. He looks like his father from the second Guardians movie. I do kind of want Ravager Thor, but yeah. I don't get nearly enough views on these things to, to warrant me wasting money buying the rest of them. Watch more of my videos more often and then I'll start wasting money. Alright, this is going to be a straightforward review. You know Marvel Legends. I know Marvel Legends. Everybody know Marvel Legends. It's not going to be that much. She comes with an extra head, which this was the one that was on her body when I opened it. Eh, decent likeness right there. I think her face might be a little bit fatter, but maybe she got some muscle in her face. since She did get a little bit buff for the movie. The top of the head is a darker blonde than the rear. She does have her mole right there on the cheek. Let's zoom all the way in. And just make sure you look at both faces before you buy her because some of the eyes are just jacked up. So you gotta you gotta look out for that. Anywho, since we're doing faces, let's zoom in on this one. Most of them wear this masked face where the eyes were just Super crooked. One eye be higher towards the top of the helmet and the other one was lower. But I like this. See if they even sculpted nostrils on there. That's cool. Now these things are very pliable. When I put it back in the package and at the missing with it, I think I must not have put it in right in. This is getting bent that way. So I'm going to have to heat that up. It's super crazy pliable as you can see. The hair is really pliable. But here's my problem. <laughs> I don't I think they think that this is a cool thing to do because that's what SH Figure Arts and other high-end collectibles does. They put the ball post right here. But what those other companies do is put a ball in the base of the neck so you can move that. Stop it. Just if you're not gonna put a ball at the bottom of the neck, just do the regular hinge. There was nothing wrong with that. I had no problems with that. I would even accept the regular hinge with the ball at the bottom, just like the G.I. Joe's. But now they're going to change G.I. Joe because they want to have this unified method. I guess it must be cheaper some type of way. But basically, I'm saying all that to say, it hardly gives her the ability to look up. You can get down mostly. But yeah, if she had the hinge with a ratchet type system in there, this hair is actually soft enough where it would have stayed in its position. This cape is very soft. That's what that looks like. This skirt stuff down here, super crazy soft. So that gets out of the way. There isn't just silver in this. There is red in there as well. Or like a reddish color. It's coming off looking more light brown to me. But yeah. They went all the way up in there. The pants are most, mostly smooth. There is some wrinkling right there. The knee pad is actually a different color than the back of the knee joint. So that's cool. You don't have like silver knee joints back there. So that they put some money into that. Thank you. You get multicolored boots. And yeah. I don't know if this is going to be completely 100% accurate to what she looks like in a movie, but I actually like this. I actually like it. It is cool. Here is Mjolnir, all reassembled and whatnot for some type of reason. 
I can't wait to, to see the movie for just that. To just hear that ex explanation. But awesomely painted. This doesn't rotate down the bottom. So you'll have to be holding it like this. If you want this to be coming down because of gravity. And you see her arm guards and the hand right there. Nicely painted. This hand has that motion right there where it goes up and down like that. Because she's holding something. And this one goes in and out like that. And both of them rotate. The shoulders go out to there. They're on like a harder ratchet. This part of our costume is somewhat pliable on our shoulder piece. Let me make sure I show that up close. But of course you can rotate. You get bicep swivel. She has pinless double elbows. Thank you. Thank you so much. The diaphragm joint is better than normal with a female to me. It goes back that much. And it even comes forward a lot. Normally it would go back this much. And then this is a straight neutral position. It would come forward that much and stop. But no, she goes forward that much. She goes side to side a lot. You get side tilts. This is actually a separate piece in the waist. It would have been awesome if they would have put her waist on a ball joint. I mean, if you're going to make the, the waist a separate piece anyway, or maybe, um, no, they, it, it moves separately. It won't fully rotate, but it is separate. If that was on a ball joint, SH figure arts. Come on. She doesn't have drop down hips, but uh, the hips do go out this far. Let me make sure I'm not lying about that. Nope, she doesn't. They kick forward that much. They kick back that much thigh swivel. Here's what you get with the double jointed penless knees. I would have loved boot swivel, but it's not in there. The feet go forward that much. They come all the way back as normal and you get ankle pivot. Boot swivel helps with you being able to get a natural pose. Like I got that foot right here, but now I want to pose this foot. So now I have the ankle tilt it to the side like that i mean uh, looking at it no that's that's not too much of a problem but i still would like the boot swivel but because i sometimes i don't like the ankle to be twisted around but it's not too much of a problem you can actually do that with your foot for real this pops off easy this pops on well but you got to use what you can use when it comes to the articulation. So the things I would have loved added to this figure is more hands, like some fists, maybe a gripping hand on this side and um, an adjuster hand on that side. So six hands, six hands in total and boop, rotation and that ball thing that I was mentioning and a, a better neck articulation. If I had that would have been awesome 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 crazy spectacular awesome but right now it's just a good female marvel legends here she is next to things i have in this room here is throne room boba fett a deluxe class transformer king grayskull without his fur who is also the same height as that cyborg thor um ragnarok so that will let you know since i do not have that figure in my possession anymore that that's how tall that Thor figure would be. And here is a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, so she's basically roughly about six inches tall. Anyhow, I like her. You heard what I said about her. Thank you for watching this. Until next time, T Man Nine Seven Eight. Out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should 